Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So let me give you the background on my flatbed over here. I have just about have everything done to get it back on the road and in service. But I gotta replace two shocks on there, then some welding I have to get done. But in any event, for those of you familiar with the channel, I pulled this trailer from behind a mechanic's garage several years back. Uh, my cousin had a truck over there that he was doing some work on. He left the truck, never paid the guy. And uh, I had the guy who was supposed to do some work for me, but he never never did it. And um, he had to clean his shop or was getting rid of the shop or something. And he told me to come get the trailer. Well, um, so I hooked up to my old tow truck and dragged it over to my father's house. And there it sat for a while. And then slowly I was working on it and uh, putting it back together. And I didn't have the Black Knight then and the freight liner, the classic that belonged to my father, wasn't running either, so, I, but I wasn't gonna turn down a free trailer. But over time, I, you know, I replaced the glad hands on it, I replaced the brake chambers. I did put a new deck on there, but the deck still needs some work. But in any event, a couple years go by, and I get the Black Knight, and I get a call from Virginia Beef, uh, to haul sod. So that's what I used that trailer for primarily was hauling sod loads. Ran for two summers, no issues. Well, I went through a couple tires. Um, I blew one tire and that's what caused the damage on the frame that I got to get uh, some of the weld I needed to get done. And then I got a call. So the second season that I was with Virginia Beef, the I was hauling no actually it was a load of concrete reinforced concrete pipe I was bringing out of Frederick Maryland back down here to 66 in Virginia and the trailer was riding rough it was just it was just banging um, you know it wasn't a smooth bounce it was just banging and I went back and my air bag bags weren't inflated so that tells me, or oh, I figured maybe it was the height control valve that had gone bad. So put on a new height control valve, but in my ignorance, I hooked up the lines wrong. And I did read the instructions before I put it on there, but clearly I got something wrong. But anyway, I ran it for a while like that, but those bags super inflated, um, no issues, and finally, Blam, I blew a bag and I brought it on on back to the yard. And like I said, I thought I had figured out the height control piece, but, but I didn't. So I brought it back, parked it in the yard and I was busy doing the construction piece, grading, excavation, some other stuff. So I didn't have a chance to get on the trailer. And I took one bag off with the intent of going into the store and placing it, but I either left the bag on the back of the truck and it dropped off on the road somewhere or somebody walked off with the bag. So that was another couple of months wasted uh, sitting around doing nothing. But you know, I'm busy, just not able to work on the trailer. And then my buddy, for some reason, had to pile up some silage over here. And he tried to move, well he did move the trailer. And in the process of moving the trailer, he busted the shocks and did some more damage that I need some welding on the trailer. So finally, I get all four bags and I put the bags on. You, you see the videos of those that I have posted. Uh, link will be down below in the description. And I hook all the bags up and, but I still had the lines misrouted on the high control valve. So I bought a new one and read the instructions again and sure enough I had to switch two of the lines around I thought that that middle port was the exhaust it's the top port is the exhaust um, but so once I got the bags going I hooked up tried to move it and the trailer wouldn't go nowhere brakes wouldn't release so I did some more troubleshooting and the brake control valve was no good you, I could hear it seeping air out. So internally, it was messed up. 
and the old one was a Midland, but I was able to match it to a new one, which is a Haldex FF2. And I put that on there, but again, not paying attention, the airlines at the back of the trail are two different sizes. Of course, I didn't look the airlines close enough, so I'm running back and forth, getting the fittings, the port sizes are different. But anyway, I got all that done, got it back together, and like I say, other than the shocks and the welding, this trailer's about ready to put back on the road. So, thanks for coming to the channel. Take a look at the video, hit subscribe, share with your friends, and don't hesitate to comment. This is a Haldex FF2 fully functional air brake control valve for trailers. You have a supply port, a control port, two spring brake ports, ports, and then you got four delivery ports on the bottom, and these go to the brake chambers on the trailer. Now, one thing I need to do while I'm under here is I got the airlines routed incorrectly. Now I know what you're gonna say, knucklehead, that's common sense. Everybody knows that he's supposed to do it. This is the supply, and this is out to the airbags, and this is the exhaust. Now when I bought this height control valve, I read all that before I attempted to install it. And I declare, I read that, or I, maybe from the diagram, I mis, misread the diagram where that was a supply, that was out to the airbags, and that was the exhaust. But no, it's the other way around. Supply, delivery, exhaust and that explains why my airbags weren't working correctly and yes this is my supply line. This one's a nine sixteenth. Supply. That's my issue.
that's a 10 millimeter. I'll come back and tighten that up. I don't have with me. So now I'm gonna fix the brake control valve and then air it up and see where we're at. All right, so there's a brake control valve sitting on the tank. But first thing I'm gonna do is take me a picture so I know what line goes where because as soon as I get them disconnected, I guarantee you I'll forget. Well, let this soak while I disconnect the lines, air lines. don't need to use the fittings on these so I can cut the lines Well, nothing ever goes right. Of course, these are different sizes. Wonder if I can swap them out. All right, ran into a small issue, nothing insurmountable. But as you can see, these two here are different sizes. That's what I guess a inch and maybe a three quarter inch on the old one. Uh, and the port on the tank is the largest port on the tank is at three quarter right there. So what I have to do is go back to my store uh, and get an adapter that reduces, reduces this down so I can stick it in the port on the tank. That's pretty simple. If I can get there in time, I can get back, get this finished today. Otherwise, I'll be back in the morning, knock it out, get this trail up and running. Be back shortly. You know, now that I look at these, these have 45 degrees. So when I go back to the store, I may see uh, either I have to get a 45 degree elbow and stick these push pins on or see if they make. I don't recall seeing any, but. I'll find something so uh, I'll get this to match the old one as best I can. Oh, I got the pieces that I need to put my brake controller back on. I got four 45 degree fittings. Then I had to get a couple with adapters and reducers. So I can match can set this back up on there and match what came off. Of course, the sun was out earlier today, but it looked like we got some rain clouds moving in. Nothing too heavy, and it might skirt around me. Uh, you can see the clouds right there.
and there's some light drops coming down now, but nothing too too concerning. Hopefully it blows by, but we'll see. And I got the reducer so I can put this in the port in the tank and then this will go into that. So I'm all good to get the air system closed up on this trailer. First thing we do is get these straight push pins out and replace those with the 45s. So I got all the connectors installed. I just got to put this reducer in the tank, but I'm going to do that when I get on the trailer uh, before I put the ceiling on and put that in. So back on the trailer I go. Well, I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's some gunk in there. What, I don't know, but we want to clean it out. I'm gonna start the truck up and blow this out. Whatever it is, has been building up for a while. Like I said, you probably can't see in there, but it's, I don't know if it's rust or what. like grass.
in my haste, I didn't check the hole sizes to make sure all the holes were the same. So the lines going to the brakes are half finch lines, whereas the lines going to the airbags and coming in to the thing is three quarters. So I had the wrong fitting. So I got to swap out these fittings and then put it back together. One brake line. You trip that. Uh, trim back the ventilation some. Now I got the full brake lines connected. Got one more to connect. And that's a supply line coming off the height control valve going into that distribution box. Well, everything is connected. Got the four brake lines going to the brake chambers. The spring brake lines, two at the top. The supply line coming from the truck here. And also, it's got it teed off going to the balance port on the junction box for the airbags. And one thing I didn't pay attention to uh, when I started was is the lines under here are two different sizes. Half the lines are 3.8 and the other half are half inch. Um, the lines dealing with the airbags are 3.8 and the lines dealing with the brake brakes are half inch. So I had to go back and get some more fittings to get that straight, but Everything's set, so let's fire up and see what happens.
right, folks. So everything's working like it should. You can hear the air coming out of the height control valve. It's doing what it's supposed to. I do need to repair those shocks, however. I said that when the guy was backing my trailer up, he flipped his axle around and busted my shocks off. So I'm gonna get some new shocks on there. And when I apply the brakes, you can hear the air release, which the old valve wasn't doing that. I'll let you hear that here in a second. This trail had been sitting here so long that the brakes had froze to the drum and it took me a minute to break them free and pull that trail out of here. I thought maybe I had another issue, but they finally freed on up.